The Princess and the Faithful Knight Once upon a time, there was a princess whose beauty was the talk of not just her own, but many land. As beautiful as she was, the princess has been raised to be fair and just. As the days went by, the happiness and the joy of her people became her only concern. One day, a prince arrived at the kingdom to court the princess. The two spent hours, days, and weeks together. The princess had fallen in love with the charming prince. One day, the prince took his princess to a shady grassland full of flowers located near the edge of the forest. He challenged the princess to pick out the rarest flower for him, scarlet rose from the dense woods, if she had truly loved him. The princess entered the woods to search for the scarlet rose. She loved the prince and she would prove it to him. When she had almost given up, she saw a beautiful flower. The princess was fascinated by its beauty and reached out to touch it, but immediately fell asleep. The prince suddenly appeared he had planned to steal the riches and jewelry of the princess. He took the valuables and abandoned the princess. When the princess did not return to her father, the king sent his soldiers far and wide to look for her. After a long search, they discovered her in the meadow, covered in vine. His advisors discovered that she had touched the scarlet rose and thus couldn't be awakened. The king tried every possible measure and potion to wake her up, but nothing helped. The disheartened king made it known that anyone who could wait by the princess's side until she awoke would win her hand in marriage. And the sweaters came drowned by the princess beauty, but she slept on anywhere. As time passed, her beauty faded, as did most sweaters, except for one night who had knelt at the princess' side and hadn't moved since the time he had arrived. When the princess woke up, she saw the strong knight kneeling by her side. He told her about the potion and the king's decree and declared his undying love for her. The king was overjoyed at having his daughter back, finding her a loving husband, and declared their wedding which took place every next day. The End